Senior Supreme Court Advocate and Rajya Sabha MP KTS Tulsi said that drugs in balanced quantity is the need of the life and battle for allowing them to be consumed like it is in the case of gutka alcohol and tobacco by paying taxes. He further said that the NDPS Act 1985 should be reformed as it is used to harass people at times. Meanwhile, the Bombay High Court on Wednesday adjourned the hearing of the bail plea of Shahrukh Khan's son, Aryan Khan, Moon Mudamija and Arbaaz Merchant to Thursday, October 28th at 3 p.m. Three Kashmiri youths studying at the Agra Engineering College under the Prime Minister's Special Scholarship Scheme for Jammu and Kashmir students were arrested on Wednesday for allegedly sharing anti-India messages after Pakistan's win over India at the T20 World Cup match on Sunday. The administration of the Raja Balwan Singh Engineering Technical College, which investigated the three students on Monday, announced that the college would be shut down until action is taken against those who forcibly entered the college on Tuesday, demanding the arrest of the Kashmiri students. Former Punjab Chief Minister Captain Amrinder Singh will meet Union Home Minister Abhishek Shah in Delhi on Thursday to discuss the issues related to the center's farm law, due to which the farmers, mostly in the northern state, are protesting near the Delhi border. Singh held a press conference on Wednesday where he announced the formation of new political party and about his meeting with Shah. A speeding truck ran over divider, resulting in the death of three women near the farmers' protest site at Delhi-Haryana border. The women were reportedly sitting at a divider, waiting for an auto rickshaw when the truck hit them. The driver of the truck ran away from the accident scene, according to the police. Two women died at the spot, while one died in the hospital, according to the police. Taiwan's president said that she has full faith that the United States will defend the island against the Chinese attack as Beijing and Washington traded barbs over Taipei's place on the global stage. The comment from the Taiwanese president came after US President Joe Biden rebunked Beijing over its actions near Taiwan at the virtual East Asia summit attended by the Chinese premier. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.